Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Alright, and for another episode of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 I can, can, and I will, will, will. Because it is scandalous and it's marvelous. Okay, guys, I'm a little bit under the weather, as you can tell. I got the stuffy nose and sore throat. All right, but that don't keep me from talking. I even had a tonsillectomy, and I still was trying to talk. But I'm only going to be on here for about maybe 10 minutes or less. Because like I said, I am really not feeling good. But, and I'm not on top of my game. But I'm trying to do what it make it do. Because I just had to share the story with you. And how it seems some of society is throwing up both middle fingers at Portia Williams. If they get my drill. Can you see the visual? People are throwing up the middle fingers. On both hands at Portia Williams because she is trying to destroy the fabric of her ready-made family with ex-fiance trying to tear down PJ's dad in public and it didn't work it didn't work Portia it didn't work the TV show you had called yourself giving us for entertainment purposes baby girl it didn't work Public of opinion, the public sided with Dennis. You lost in the public of opinion courtroom. All right, and it's just getting worse because you set yourself up with this man that you called was your billionaire, millionaire husband. You were Miss Thotland on Atlanta Housewives. You had a job there, you had a job at Dish Nation, and everybody loved themselves some Portia. Okay, but you have tarnished that. Um, we call it image, and it is coming to a short haul. Right now, you should be looking for that underground railroad so you can choo choo your train self on up out of here because you have become the laughing stock of Atlanta and the social media world. They don't know where you are going. They don't know where you are coming from, but they can see the train wreck and the mess that you're leaving in the aftermath okay because you made this stupid show that i guess bravo co-signed on and they knew they were going to make it look very bad for you and then you accepted a uh, executive producer only in name position or title and you have no rights it's all in vain, baby. They just gave you a high title that paid nothing, and it showed that you had no power to uh, edit the shows where it favored you and your fiance. Girl, you lost Dish Nation check. You lost the Real Housewives of Atlanta check, and any other possible check you can use to represent some other company. So what are you going to do? I mean, you have made us... Love Dennis from the time he came on the scene. You made Diane love PJ and to put up with your mama because she don't look good in that picture. She don't look like she happy along with her little old fella, whoever he may be. Y'all had already blended y'all family. And Wise is, is uh, talked about and shown throughout social media in December of last year, you and Dennis were trying to get back together. But he was like, I don't know, girl. You been shady. You been, I don't know. Because if you don't sign this prenup, we can't get back together. So you was like, okay, well, I'm going to go out there and get me another dude. Okay, and that's what you pretty much did. You were playing both men at the same time because the timelines are too close to say you weren't messing with them at the same time and then you go get something like that what's wrong with that man head with the two dents on each side i tell you when you're drunk portion or those digits that you thought you saw on his bank account in his checkbook that you ran across when you was up in the bedroom girl did he fool you did he set up a stage scene for you and entrapped you girl did it put a spell on you but now you want us to um look at your perspective that dennis is this bad man he running around him got his hot dog businesses opening up different locations trying to be like varsity down him you know what i'm saying the white man little hot dog 
stand, varsity, where Georgia Tech and all of the football players come and the uh, fans eat there and, you know, they just have a good old time. You know, Georgia Tech, Georgia State, everybody down there in Atlanta. That's the eatery place when you want to have hot dogs. But see, Dennis done came in and made himself be a force to be reckoned with. He done put his hot dog factory out there and the man is making money hand over fist and even opening up other um uh businesses where you can go and patron him and enjoy you know his lounge is called crew they definitely featured it on the real housewives of atlanta no i'm sorry they featured it well yeah, they probably did i just didn't catch it but they did show it on uh porsche's family matters when lauren and lundy call themselves enticing um uh, Dennis to go to Mexico with him, which he called Mexico. All right, now he, he titled that real well because he has only been showed as favorable, comical, and the only one that got logical reasoning. Okay, because he getting on your family, you and yourself all at the same damn time, and I can appreciate a brother like that. <laughs> He said, I'm bad. Yeah, I did it. I said, I did the ultimate thing and cheated while she was praying and caring all baby. But I already apologized for that. I'm sorry. And I wanted to make amends. I wanted to come back. But see, Portia didn't want to meet me halfway. She didn't want to sign the prenup. So that's where they were still probably bumping them sheets. But when they coming with them signing up them sheets on, on real paper, that's the that can secure him. Because he know what kind of woman he messing with. He know he messing with a gold digger. But he got a child by this gold digger. So he got to play his part. He got to watch Portia. He got to uh, feed her from a long-handed spoon. And he just got to, you know what I'm saying, watch her actions to see if they matching up with what she's saying. Because a person can say anything verbal all day long. But if the action's not coming with that verbalness, you you might as well go uh, swipe left, sw swipe right. Like, yeah, just go down the middle and say, fuck it, I'm gone. Okay? And just take care of your kids. But this woman right here, just because her show has not favored her or her fiancé, she want to drag Dennis. Now, you know, Dennis wasn't really nobody's favorite. When he came out and was shown that he did, you know, he, he did make that uh, infraction like most women and men do. Okay, they cheat. They think the grass is always green on the other side. When they get over there and, and, and have to stay over there for a little minute, they're like, damn, this side is the same as the side I had. And then they want to jump back. So, you know, that's a give and take. That happens in marriages. But some people just don't give up the marriages. They can follow through. And y'all go over there and watch Tamara Tattles. She's a good vlogger and has her own little podcasting thing. And she's a good YouTuber as well. But, yeah, she tried to throw salt on Dennis, brother man, that we have come to love because of her and her family matters debacklement of a show she be trying to give us. Talking about, oh, it's for entertainment purposes. No, the check didn't cash. It came back insufficient funds. And now you're trying to run from that older man, okay, who's trying to be obsessive and compulsive. He's no, he's a compulsive liar. And he always liked to put down Dennis and Dennis's mom. Now, you know that ain't right. Because, see, he already got your mom in check. She don't want to say anything against Simon. But seeing his praises because she is a kelp woman, a do person, and she has no mind on her own. Yes, I'm speaking on Diane, your mama. Okay? And, you know, hey, it's just is what it is. This is what she's giving me. And this is my observation, my perspective, my own opinion. All right, got it good. Moving on. Okay, but, yeah, you try on this brother right here that everybody in public opinion loves now. You showed us a different side of Dennis. When you were trying to, like, make it seem good for you and your fiancé that y'all were jet set setting, he had this business, that business. Where is his business? Why you were showing us him being in Puerto Rico or, hell no, Costa Rica where the drugs are being sold and trafficking is going on. <laughs> hey, you didn't hear that from me, but that's what I hear on these streets, okay? He patron, um, Costa Rica all the time. Like, you know, he drank your water for his health. But I see him in no business meetings. We can't go to any of his establishments where people are patroning his businesses. You see what I'm saying? His investments. We don't really never see him driving no cars on the street, going to a business meeting. But uh, quiet as his kept. And now I'm going to speak it out. They said he was having business meetings at hotels and hotel rooms. Now, who does that? At least they have a conference room if you've got a big type of um uh, uh 
um, colleagues and constituents you got to meet with. You know what I'm saying? Why you going to be in a hotel room where you scare the bed and then where you can sleep? What y'all do? Uh, play business and then go around and take turns on sleeping on the bed and then y'all leave? That's full of shit. And that's where I call it. That's where I see it. But the reason why your mothering skills and capabilities are coming into question portrait is because you are jet setting too much you are taking pj out her normal rhythm of growing up and and, and living life and nene is giving you wrong examples you, you should never be following nene because hey we didn't see nene when she had somebody look you know as young as pj we don't know her parenting skills you know what was going on back then and there and her fooling with a married man which was greg at the time being in those strip clubs and she seduced him. And you got Kenya. She talking about you too. She was trying to give you some good advice. All of the women on Real Housewives for Atlanta was trying to give you some advice and slow down. Because you were holding it down for a bro man. You got engaged. You, you, you got impregnated by him. He was there with you throughout your whole pregnancy. And yeah, he, you found out he cheated because you, you standing up for him still. Like, both of that time, you were down for bro man. Even when everybody was coming at you, like, oh, you need to leave then. Hell, I probably said it too. <laughs> but at least I can admit to it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, people were just dogging him and stuff. But you're like, no, that, that, we're supposed to be married. We're supposed to be a family. And with that comes bad times, but we also have good times. And we're going to have to just work through this situation. What happened to that? Cause Medrina ain't went nowhere, and Medrina ain't going nowhere. She, she, you know, I'm like y'all need to work it out, okay? Because PJ is going to have to be around her. That is her other grandparent, and that's Dennis' mom. And why are you sitting up here calling Miss um calling Miss Gina out on poor raising skills of raising her son? Well, didn't you accept the dick from that man? Did you not sleep with him and have his baby? So what that? What that makes you, Portia? You on the receiving end of all that parenting went wrong. And you sitting up there wanting to be with the man, okay? That you call yourself tricking out, okay? I don't understand. Make it make sense, Portia, because it's not making sense, baby. Okay? And uh, we can just see the love. See the love through all my video with um, once PJ. Well, no. Let's take it back. Let's take it way on back. Okay? Why don't we? Um, he was showing love. Uh, when you was pregnant, when you weren't feeling well, he was there with you. You were showcasing him out every forum on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta, whether you going to parties or get together or whatever. Dennis was right there taking photo ops with you. Hell, he even apologized and proposed to you on Real Housewives of Atlanta, making you the fan favorite. You see where I'm going with this portion? He actually helped you and dimmed his own light. And you helped in his life because you kept putting him on blast and sending him to counseling and all this stuff about his infidelity cheating ways. But we can't really say infidelity because you weren't married yet, Portia. So you always buy the whole cow, give the whole cow out without putting a purchase. It's like you, you leasing, you're leasing yourself, baby. You're not being purchased. You're a lease option option to buy after i done ran it all the way down and out then if i don't want it i'm gonna walk away from you and see how the damage is left you still ain't nobody's bae okay you still ain't nobody's wife all right and th th this don't look right and see that's why public opinion is judging you so hard because you're not taking accountability for your actions you're not taking accountability for the show that you call yourself executive producing on and and making sure everything made you look good and your family as well and we can see what a debacle meant that has been the train wreck has derailed off the rail and it's flying down a canyon and ready to crash and burn with the upcoming episode we're gonna see on sunday girl because quiet as a kept you supposed to be putting hands on somebody and i thought we sent you to anger management girl i thought we were doing something wise with you but i see it didn't work and you have to go back for treatment we have to mk alter you once again and get you together and let you be a step for wife controlled all right because you can handle yourself you don't throw caution to the wind and it's just a bad situation but you're not gonna make us believe Portia. so stop it 
that Dennis is not a good dad. He may have not been a good fit for you as the perfect man uh, that you wanted to have in your head, your image, your mind. But at least he was willing to try to make it work and to be a part of this ratchet TV show mess that you don't got them involved in. He wanted it to be the best because the first couple of episodes, he was like, you know, you love hard and you uh, get in things real quick and then you crash, you burn, and it hurts real bad. He was trying to talk to Lauren about that, about be there for your sister because it ain't, it ain't looking right. It's making her look like a man still out here and that's what the streets are talking about and we know Porsche because we know Porsche. We know she have a good side, but when she get mad, she get ruthless and she get reckless. And we know how that can turn out. And it's not going to be looking good in her favor. But girl, <coughs> on your side, you say, okay, we'll look at my my uh, my um, accolades. Why don't you? Uh, I'm a good mother. Yeah, Portia, from what you showed us from once PJ came in the world, you were a good mother. But you were also stable. You were in Atlanta. You was always there for her needs. You were always there for her wants and desires. And we love the pictures because you kept her on Instagram. That's how we knew what you were doing with your daughter on a daily basis because you even made her an Instagram account. Now, I'm not too partial to have kids on Instagram because, you know, the peepers, the pedophiles, they come out and they be ready to attack. All right. So I, I was kind of disagreeing with you and Kenya having your babies, you know, being posted and showing them everything, showing us everything when it came to the comings and goings of the babies and how y'all were treating them. But you got up in with choke no joke. You just told your whole career up. You had kissed. You say kiss my ass to Bravo Entertainment, true, truly original entertainment, and that you and Cho Joe has the last laugh on them. But in actuality, no, Portia, because they're going to stop cutting that paycheck. And just like you see Nene Leaks over there, crying, hollering, and, and trying to be in another relationship before time, you know what I'm saying? And then she's sitting up there messing with a married man. Now, how far that going to go? Okay, but you walking in her same footsteps and you threw caution to the wind, put all your eggs in one basket and now you flying solo and you just twirling out of control. Okay, the wreckage is just, you know, being thrown out and you just leaving a trail of wreckage behind. But you won't, you know, you see these pictures, Portia, that shows love, that shows respect, that shows a good man and a good woman. Trying to do the darn thing and trying to maneuver and navigate through life and its pitfalls. So, no, you can't make us think. You can't say he cheat. He don't pay child support. Why he need to pay child support? As long as he taking care of her daycare bills. Well, really, hell, y'all both should be doing 50-50. Because you ain't married to him. You're not engaged to him to be married. So, Technically, y'all in a partnership of parenting, and y'all are co-parenting. And if things go sour for both of y'all, y'all need both have 50-50 custody. You have her six months out of the year. He have her the other six months. Y'all figure out who's going to pay, uh, what do you call it, um, child care uh, expenses for six months. And the other person has to take up the child care and insurance expenses for the other six months. That's fair. Split it all down the line. Why should he have to pay the whole kit and caboodle? Because at, at the time, you had two jobs. And then you have these other uh, <coughs> stream of income that you can um, withdraw from. So, I mean, it's not like, well, hell, you don't have nothing now. So, I guess he would have to pay child support. But don't let it be said. Don't let me hear you talking about you want spousal support or you want something or uh, some type of alimony because you ain't married, Portia. Or the best you can do is get child support. All right. And he should do his due diligence and he should select her school uh, or be in the conversation of having an opinion of the schooling you want her to have, uh, the expenses that, you know, he wants her to have that he can support. And nothing got, nothing dealing with you because you need to go back and get your jobs, okay? Probably can't get it from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And this nation probably don't want to F with you either because you're doing too much out here. And they got, uh, 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 they got a certain way they want to be seen out there in the 
uh, public of opinions out, at, out there in society as well. So they might look at you as a liability, baby. They might look at you like a liability. Okay. But let's, let's, let's just talk about you for a minute, Porsche. Let's, let's just give you some grace here if we must. You say you, you're you author of a, a best national selling book. Okay. Well, let's look at that book. To me, it's a coffee table read or just something to hold up and, and, and show your pretty face and say, yeah. She wrote this book. When we know you didn't actually write it, you just gave the material that you wanted in there and the information, and somebody else wrote it for you because we know you're not that bright. Okay, we just know it from you giving us the example of thinking it was a train at the Underground Railroad and it was choo chooing away to freedom. You know, I don't know. Okay, I, you know, that's going to be a long standing joke with me, and I'm going to kick you about it probably to the day I die. But you gave me that laughter, and I want to thank you for that. Okay, but uh, no. Portia, they pretty much wanted to see what you were promising them, which was an insight on your life. It wasn't based on entertainment. You said, this is how you got down. Then you threw the piece in now about R. Kelly, okay, which we all in speculation of that because how you tell the story, you were willing, you were a willing participant in going to meet him. <coughs> and being one of his thoughts. You see what I'm saying? So that kind of cast you out. You did that to yourself because you wanted a part of this industry and you knew the comments and goings you had to do to be in a position to have certain things in the industry. So that was true. But I don't think from how you displayed it, how you talked about it, um, Mm, that doesn't seem like you were scammed nor influenced in any other way. You came in on your own recognizance and your own opinions of what you wanted to happen. Okay, so uh, no, the the book was just a bestseller because people wanted to peep in <coughs> and use this book as more storylines. Coming from a YouTuber's perspective. You see what I'm saying? And other people just wanted to see how devastating your life was. And how you changed, you know, from those experiences. Which, hey, we still looking for the change, most of us. Okay? We, and we don't see any growth. So, that kind of puts a dim light on that book and that theory you were saying. So, if they bought it, Porsche, and you're seeing good revenue and good uh, stats on it. They were just buying it because they wanted to support you for those who get down with you and roll, ride with you uh, like four flat tires. But other than that, no, uh, no, baby. Okay, the, you have no jobs right now. Uh, you're an entrepreneur, you're selling the bedding, and you're selling the gold naked hair. That's going to last, but where's the money that's going to have to be keep fueling that because even these big fashion houses, they got to have little stores that ain't worth two cents. To continue to put in to their money makers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't know what I'm saying. Just Google business ethics. Okay. Or something to that degree. Or how most biz big businesses have other little storefronts. That really cater to the lower income people. And they use that money to fundle up more uh, lucrative businesses that they own. Great point example. When living single and Rachel was working for the Ben Master, and she thought she was gonna be working for something real big and and and, and um prestigious for a fashion line, because she actually met the man who has a nice fashion house, uh, comparable to like Louis Vuitton, you know what I'm saying, or Gucci or whatever, and he gave her the present. <coughs> <coughs> the perception that she's going to be working for one of his lucrative stores where she's going to be meeting with the movers and the shakers and, and, and the nice apparel of running around her for what she has has been born and raised to be a part of. Okay, the socialite. But honey, they had her in some kind of uh, <laughs> discount chain store and she was just too fit to be tied. <laughs> So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google living single and regime as the bin master. And it, it would give you such a laugh and good uh, good spirits about that whole show because it was a very good show. Okay, now let's talk about your favorite storyline uh, that you had to, uh, you and Choke No Joke had called y'all sales putting out there uh, as getting Bravo back for showing you in a bad light. Choke No Joke trying to help you out. He wrote that scene. Y'all played it out. 
and it it won uh public of opinion in society that watch you on the real housewives of atlanta they start favoring you because they felt you were matured you had um deepened your understanding of what's right and what's wrong and you was trying to trying to make amends so you apologized to candy and it kind of forced candy to say okay damn i can't be mad at this woman because she came at me you know sideways but now she's coming at me straight forward and i don't want to be looked at as the heel and the unforgiving one um because you know forgiveness is for that person who had made the infraction it's not necessarily forgiven to the person that they had uh did something bad to so she was trying to get over it and trying to be forgiven and trying to level up and say okay yeah i did bad let me take accountability for my actions do you accept my apology because i'm very sincerely uh, uh sorry for what i put you through so okay so okay yeah 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 but we didn't know it was a fake apology okay what i'm saying see what i'm saying so it kind of showed bravo in a bad light and it put candy on the map to possibly you know once she leave the show, she's not obligated to them anymore. She can't cause them any damage, but she may go out the portion, okay, for trying to destroy her life. That's still an option on the table, okay? Now let's talk about you letting Phaedra take the whole fall because you see if Phaedra told you about this mess and you just brought it into fruition because you really wanted to DM's Candace Light on the show, which you didn't really have to do too much bad talking or displaying on candy because she was doing that to herself you know she's just a bone collector she really don't give too much to the show and you know that was basically it but you wanted the shine to stay on you you wanted public opinion to stay on you and you were looking good at the time so it's just like Porsche 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 the hits just keep on coming don't they baby and then we have the question uh your fanatics your fans your viewers of the show the people that like you they are questioning your parenting because they're trying to figure out what kind of men are you putting around pj now you say dennis got walk around him with fake rolexes but you were a part of that fake world okay you were endearing of that fake materialistic stuff he's so-called you're so-called trying to blast him out on so what does that make you portia you're fake right there with him you know, you're talking about your ring wasn't really up to par it was sub par and this that that but you wanted the ring about two or three times and you just begged for it last december so how does that make you look it don't make you look good portia it don't make you look good at all girl and you're trying to throw salt on your baby daddy's name girl so what kind of man is simon he smokes, smoke too much for me. And he don't even really spend a lot of time with his kids. So that says enough for me. I, I, I can't deal. You should walk away, baby. Walk away. But Dennis, on the other hand, let's see. Uh, he's making news. He's making headlines in the magazine world. They just featured him as being a multimillionaire or uh, somewhere near it. With all his businesses and his ethical practices. And he's just an astute businessman out there. And we definitely can say we can go and visit one of his establishments. Okay. And we can judge it for what it is. Just on our personal experience. From being in his environment and his establishment. And how the people are using their customer service skills to them when they come in and patron his business. He actually have a place of business. And sometimes he's there working if he needs to be. Okay. Because they show him on the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, several times when Portia uh, was riding by his business with Marlo on a bus and uh, just trying to get in good graces with him, trying to, you know, see where she wanted to go with him and stuff. <coughs> and then she was calling herself up there working uh, behind the counter, serving people. You know what I'm saying? We had you up there. Now, you want to throw salt on the man's name that he ain't shit. Okay. Well, you ain't shit, Portia. Okay. Uh, it seems like at the time he was taking care of his responsibilities because uh, you never said anything bad about him. You always showed him in a good light. But when you start hooking up with this man right here, uh, Dennis wasn't shit. He still ain't shit now uh, because he was uh, the fan favorite of your show in the first season on the first, second, and third episode he's still smelling like a rose when you smell like boo boo okay um let me see uh, i talked about him having real property we can go and visit it and he pampered you portia he pampered you okay this man ain't did nothing cause you problems 
and giving you headaches and you can't see that. I understand. I understand. He seemed like a very solid businessman, Dennis. He loves his daughter. He actually loved you at one time, Portia, but you picked a man that was still out there in them streets, okay? And you have been out there in those streets, and pretty much Dennis is, if you don't stop messing with Dennis, he's going to return you to them streets. And then he's going to go seek legal action against you, and he might seek sole custody. Oh, PJ, you see where I'm going with this Portia? Do you see where I'm going with this baby girl? So I think you need to slow your roll. I need. I think you need to retract some of your statements and stop throwing salt on your baby dad's name because PJ love her dad. It's expressed in my videos. It's expressed on your social media accounts when you were taking pictures, vacation pictures, everyday pictures of you and PJ and Dennis comings and goings. So don't wreck that. This is a sham. This is a fraud. What you have with this man, Simon, you need to let him go because he has no respect for your mama. Uh, Dennis mama, you Portia, cause he said the only thing y'all got in common, and that's gonna be a long tale that I'm gonna keep talking about, is y'all compatibi compatibility of partying, okay, that's what he think of you, a party girl, that he could just move you out of his home, or wherever y'all staying, at a eyes blink, cause he got on speed dial a moving company, he said when he get tired of he move them out and relocate their stuff to wherever they are Staying, staying at currently. Uh, so that's all I got of this video, guys. Uh, y'all like a little, gotta have more. Just you know, hit that doorbell. That's the like bell. When you come in, I, I, I'm decent. I'm probably in, in in the room chilling. You know, waiting for somebody to come in and want to talk or you know, however it goes. And you can bring friends with you. We love to have family. We love to have more family. We want to build over here, okay? Because all of our stuff is allegedly. We all just making opinions, having conversations about the subject at hand. And pretty much Portia done got society pointing the middle fingers up at her. Like, girl, F you. F you and whatever you talking about when it comes to Dennis. Because we love him. We like him. And we're going to ride hard for him. That's what they chanting out there, Portia. Can't you hear them, girl? Can you hear them? So I'm like, if you don't want them to throw tomatoes at you, you know, coming out, out like Mariah had said, I'm not going to come off my chair to throw tomatoes in the street with you peasants. <laughs> That's what Dennis pretty much saying to you, Portia. He ain't coming off his his uh chariot to throw tomatoes in the street. He gonna hit you where it hurts, and that's meaning PJ taking you to court, Mama Gina, and footage showing that you just said a lot, and there's no evidence that baby girl is with you. Meaning your mama, your old senior citizen mama, who's trying to be young and trying to find her uh young hood or the fountain of youth. Uh, taking care of your daughter, okay, and any other nannies you may have running around now. It's not you no more. Ever since you hooked up with this man, you've been acting like you living a single life, kind of like how Dennis is. <coughs> <coughs> but people don't really think the dad's supposed to be around and, and be the nurturer and making sure everything good with the child. They kind of put it on the mother. She's the mothering. She's the nurturing type. She's supposed to be there. She's supposed to set the example. And right now, Dennis is calling that into question. Okay? And he has a right to do so because you have not been acting right and appropriate, Portia, since you met this guy, Simon. So check yourself before you try to check and Dennis, okay? Because right now, he playing chess behind your back while you sitting over him playing Uno. You see what I'm saying? You ain't even on the board, baby. You playing another card game, and he's sitting up here playing a mind game. You see where I'm at? You see where I'm going with this, Portia? But <coughs> that's all I have for this video, guys. Happy holidays, okay? Enjoy your holidays. Be safe. And they say, you know, the stuff is kicking up out there. So y'all do y'all due diligence. Wear your mask. Use your hand sanitizers. Hand sanitizers. Because I still want you to be here with me talking and carrying on. I want you sick. And, and, and fighting for your life out there because y'all were hasty, want to go to all these concerts and parties and want to live your best life. Well, honey, babies, you won't have no life if you keep going out there fooling with these um strands of viruses we got going on. Okay, I'm just saying it because I love y'all and I want y'all to be living y'all best life in your best life. Okay, but I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.